Hello, I'm Diana Keough, Editor-in-Chief of Sherwick.com. Today we're chatting with Dr. Rachel Egler, who is a pediatric oncologist with University Hospitals, Rainbow Babies, and Children's Hospitals in Cleveland. And we're going to be talking to Dr. Egler about pediatric cancer. Dr. Egler, the first question has come in from Twitter, and this mother asks, My son was just diagnosed with cancer, and I'm totally overwhelmed. Where would you suggest I start? Well, um, a good nap is always helpful, Um, which I know sounds silly, but I think one thing that people forget is that you still have to take care of yourself so that you can best take care of your family and take care of your son um, and any other children that you might have. Um, But once you get up from your nap and you're feeling refreshed, um, I would say that Starting with your doctor is a good place to start. If you've already met your pediatric oncologist, um, just sitting down and either talking to your pediatric oncologist or um, members of his or her team. Um, Most pediatric oncology groups also uh, have either physician's assistants or nurse practitioners who work with them, and also uh, nurses who are especially trained in pediatric oncology. And... um, It's important to remember that you're not alone. It's unlikely that you're either the first or the last parent who has gone through this. And so there's sometimes very simple answers to your concerns and questions that we can help you with um, once you're ready to ask those questions or once you're ready to talk to us. My friend's daughter was just diagnosed with cancer. She was diligently researching this topic on the internet and she was getting conflicting information How do you filter out the good and the bad? So there are a couple of things you can do. The first and best thing that you can do is actually talk directly to your doctor. Um, Your physician can answer questions, and oftentimes the answers that you're looking for are much more simple than what you're going to find on the Internet. Having said that, um, there are a couple of sites on the Internet which I trust personally. Um, There's a very good site that is just cancer.gov, G-O-V, that is run by the National Cancer Institute. And so the information on that website is uh, filtered through the National Cancer Institute, and I know that uh, they update it regularly based on new research and new things that have been done. Um, Also, the Children's Oncology Group, which is a consortium of pediatric oncologists throughout the country, uh, sponsor a website called CureSearch.com, that's all one word, and that website uh, is also a nice place for information on pediatric cancers. Dr. Egler, this question was posted on our Facebook wall. This mother asks, my family seems to be battling between themselves with who's going to do what, and I need to be focused on my child's care. What resources are out there for me to be able to do just that? Most uh, pediatric oncology uh, offices have a social worker who works with them. And social worker is a term that raises a lot of eyebrows and people hear about social, hear you say, oh, talk to a social worker, and you start thinking, oh, but I don't have money problems and I don't need a social worker. Um, But social workers in our, in what we do, are very important because they can help with lots of different things. They can help with um, Family Medical League Act paperwork. They can help with um, just meal vouchers. They can help with transportation issues. Um, And they're also good at helping actually families cope from the standpoint of, gosh, there are a lot of people around who are all trying to do different things. Maybe we could have a little family meeting and try to sort that out together. Dr. Egler, I live in a small town and there's not many pediatric oncologists here. I'm not sure I'm getting the right care. Should I make the effort to travel to a city with more options? Most pediatric oncologists, I would say, would have no problem with uh, helping to facilitate at least a consultation with a doctor outside of their area. Um, depending on the physicians, if, if for some reason they don't like that idea or they don't want um, or they're not willing to help with that, Um, Certainly, you can call another place and set up an appointment. uh, We do tend to work together. Uh, I'm always a little wary if I get a call from a family who says, well, my doctor doesn't know I'm coming, but I want to come talk to you. Um, Because we need to share our information, because if we share our information, then um, 
we don't always get the whole, we, we like to get the whole medical story, which sometimes parents um, have the whole story, but sometimes there are th nuances that the primary physician can tell us about as well. Dr. Egler, thank you so much for joining us today on Sherwick.com. This has been really helpful information. If you would like more on the topic of pediatric cancer, please go to our website at www.sherwick.com.